Hi, today we're using gorgeous yellows and blues to paint camping at sunrise. I've added lemon yellow to white and a little yellow ochre to white and I'm using this to paint the middle section of the canvas. I would start quite light and then slowly build up the intensity of the colour until you're happy with it. Then I'm adding more white to make it a lot lighter and blending it upwards. Then I'm using my cerulean blue and ultramarine to paint the top half of the canvas. It's about a 50% mix of each and as I'm moving downwards I'm again adding more white to make it a lighter blue. I don't want to blend the more vibrant yellow and the blue together so I'm stopping with the blue just before I reach that. If you do accidentally blend them together and you get kind of a green colour, that's alright, just come over the top of it with your yellow colour again. Then I'm going to come in and add a little bit of interest to the sky by using my toothbrush. I'm going to spray some white paint and also a little bit of ultramarine. I'm coming in with a small round brush to touch up any areas I don't like and add any extra parts that I want. I've masked off the horizon line and then I'm using my ultramarine and cerulean blue again to block out the ocean on the right. I've made a brown colour with some cadmium red, some yellow ochre and a little ultramarine and I'm using this to block off what will be the beach on the left hand side of the canvas. To make the brown darker, use more cadmium red and ultramarine and that will give you quite a dark brown. You can see where the paint on the horizon line has bled upwards a little bit. This was mainly because the paint was too wet and the masking tape didn't stick too well. It's an easy fix. I've got a flat, clean brush, it's barely damp, and I'm just using this to clean up and remove the paint along the horizon. Then I've made a dark green colour by using sap green. I've added a tiny amount of ultramarine and cadmium red to it, and I've got this big round coarse brush that I bought at a dollar store, and I'm using this to block out my tree. I'm then coming in with a medium filbert brush to tidy up any edges and add a little bit of detail in the distance. I'm using my dark brown again which is mainly ultramarine and cadmium red and I'm painting in a bit of a diagonal line to the area where my tent is going to be. This is a little trick to lead the eye into the section of the painting you want it to go. I'm using white with the tiniest amount of cadmium red and ultramarine and I'm going to block out the tent. It'll probably take two or three coats of paint just to get nice coverage. You can really have some fun adding the reflections and light on the ground 
I'm using white with a little cadmium red and yellow ochre to give a nice warm glow to the ground. I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please hit that like button for me and if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting you might like to watch one of these videos next see you next time